everyone so i welcome you all here in the lecture series of physics does the word physics also scares the hell out of you well if your answer is yes then i'm going to say that you are at the right place because here we believe that if you really can then you definitely will here i just want to ask you a simple question that why do we study physics what is the need of physics just to score good marks in the exams well this might be true from your perspective but what do you think sir newton sir galileo and sir einstein had also thought in the same way obviously not they had their unique imagination which led them to the discovery of those existing theories and laws now if you also want to be a great scientist or physicist like one of them and you also want to contribute to the theory of science then you need to study those existing theories and laws and trust me it's just next to impossible to mug up all those theories and laws in just a single day so just sit out there and relax when i will be teaching you about those theories and laws one by one in this lecture series of physics so let's get started with the very first chapter of your syllabus that's motion so here you can see the complete content of this chapter that i will be teaching you so let's get started with the very first topic so to start with the chapter motion we first need to talk about the terms motion and rest now to say that an object is in motion first of all we need to locate the position of that object and to locate the position we need a reference point which is also called the frame of reference or origin so what is a reference point a point which requires to locate the position of an object for example if i say ram's house is the 2 km north of the post office so here in this statement post office is the reference point of ram's house so i hope you have got the idea of the reference point moving on let's talk about the term motion an object is said to be in motion if its position changes with the time with respect to a reference point in its surroundings so here if i say this person is standing near this tree now in the second case you can see this person is standing near this car in the third case you can see this person is standing near this building so here you have seen that how with the passage of time the position of the person has changed it means this person is in motion now if i say that with the passage of time the position of this person is not changing then this person will said to be at rest so we can say that an object is said to be at rest if its position does not changes with the time with respect to a reference point in its surroundings so i hope the terms motion and rest are quite clear to you now these terms motion and rest are relative to each other an object at rest with respect to one person might be in motion with respect to some other person now what do we mean by this statement let's try to discuss some example Let us suppose you are traveling in a bus. Now you are at rest with respect to the fellow passenger, but you are in motion with respect to a person who is standing at the bus stand or standing at the ground. As the bus is moving, so you are also moving as you are sitting inside that bus. Okay. So with respect to the fellow passenger, you are at rest, but with respect to the person who is standing on the ground, you are in motion. so here in this part i have explained you what is the importance of reference point what do we mean by motion and rest and this is the reason why we can say that the absolute rest is not possible because every object is going to be at rest with respect to one observer is going to be in motion with respect to some other observer for example if i say that right now i am standing here i am at rest but let us suppose someone is watching me from a satellite as the earth is revolving earth is rotating about its axis so we are also moving and hence we all are in motion and hence i can say that the term absolute rest is not possible now let's move on to the next segment of the lecture and try to explore about the vector and scalar quantities